All right. So what I'd like to do now, and we've been kind of alluding to it as we've been going through this problem, is to talk more explicitly about production. And I'm going to start with the simplest model of production I, I can think of. And it's, it's, a very, it's a classic kind of Robinson Crusoe model. So I'm going to think about a guy on an island. And he's got two plots of land. He's got plot A. And he can produce two products, bananas and oranges. And on plot A, he can produce 10 bananas or five oranges, OK? And I say or. Or he can mix the plot. He can use it 50% for each, in which if he used it 50-50, he would get five and two and a half. Or he can use any mixture he wants, right? He can, he can split the plot up. But on, if he uses the whole plot for bananas, he gets 10. If he uses the whole plot for oranges, he gets five. Or he can split the plot any way he wants and get some reduced fraction of each. Okay? People understand the technology. It's a very simple linear technology. Okay? Plot B, he can produce uh, 15 bananas or 40 oranges. Okay? So that's that his same thing, same thing, OK? And now I want to think about what's his production possibility frontier. And that is, what are the combinations of bananas and oranges that he can produce? Well, it's pretty clear if he wants to produce oranges and only oranges, how much he can grow. Well, he can grow 45. Right? Everybody understands it, right? If he only wanted to grow oranges, he clearly could grow 45 oranges. And if he wanted to grow only bananas, he could grow 25 bananas. Everybody agrees with that, right? I think I did that, right? He could do one or the other. He could 45 oranges, no bananas, 25 bananas, no oranges. What other possibilities does he have? If he wants to, let's take this, start from this point. If he wants to produce oranges, or, or it, yeah, if he wants to produce oranges, where should he produce them? Why? Well, how much do, how much do, how much do oranges cost here? So on A, an orange costs how much? Two bananas. And on B, I'm sorry, and a banana costs how much? How about one half of an orange? Right? Everybody agrees with that? What about on plot B? How much does, a, how much does an orange cost on plot B? Three-eighths of a banana. And how much does a banana cost? Better be eight-thirds, right? So when I look at this plot as an economist, I would say bananas. Who's the low-cost producer of oranges? B. Low-cost producer of oranges. Who's the low-cost producer of bananas? Half is less than eight thirds. Right? Those are my low cost producers of each of the products. Could it have been the case that one of the plots was the low cost producer of both? No, right? No. Not strictly. They could have been equal cost on both, but there's no way you could be lower on both because these are just reciprocals of one another, right? So if three eighths is less than two, that eight thirds is bigger than a half. I mean, it just can't be any other way. And that's a really important idea. This is what economists call comparative advantage. Most people have heard of it. And it but it's a really important principle, and it's related to the discussion we just had, right? You should be, bells should be going off. 
The, the discussion we just had is exactly the same concept, right? It's like the bear again. It's like, you know, it's like, it's not how good absolutely I am at growing bananas or oranges, right? If I made this 150, it wouldn't change anything in terms of who's the low cost producer. If I made this 1,500, it wouldn't change anything, right? Because the low cost producer is determined by what you have to give up to get something. That's the whole notion of cost, right, is what you give up. So there's two ways to be a low-cost producer of widgets. One is to be really good at widgets. The other is just to be really bad at everything else, right? That's either one will work, right? And sometimes people have low cost because they're really good at one thing. Sometimes they have low cost, they're really bad at other stuff. Either one happens. Both happen in the world, right? Like the low-cost producer of sheep is not the land that can produce the most sheep per acre. It's the land that can't be used for much of anything else is, a good, is the low-cost producer of sheep, okay? Right? So the comparative advantage is a key concept. And the notion of cost, remember, is what you, give up, what you have to give up to get something. So if we're going to produce oranges, we're going to start producing them on plot B. And in fact, we're going to produce them on plot B until we can't produce any more. And so we're going to go to some point 4010, which is here. We would come down like this, and the slope here would be equal to what? Minus three eighths, right? Because it says for every banana we want to produce, orange we want to produce, we're giving up three eighths of a banana. And then from this point forward, the slope would be minus two. Because we'd be giving up now two bananas per orange. So we'd have this convex production possibility frontier which reflects what we say in economics, a rising marginal cost. The marginal cost of producing oranges is rising as we produce more oranges. Why is it rising in this model? No. Yeah, you use the lowest cost first, right? That is, two features are important. One is, there's heterogeneity in these resources. All the plots are not the same. I got some plots that have a comparative advantage in oranges, some plot have a comparative advantage of bananas, and I use the lowest cost plot first. Viewed either way, I use the lowest cost orange plot to produce the oranges, and I use the lowest cost banana plot to produce the bananas. That's an important source of rising marginal cost for many industries particularly for industries that use natural resources. It's important in the oil business, for example. We talked about that already, where the cost of getting oil is increasing as we try to produce more because we have to go to places where it's higher and higher cost to produce. Okay? It's important in sports and other things where you're using human resources that are very heterogeneous.